I mean, I was watching Tampa contest in, you know, four and ones when I, before I even knew how to kickflip, you know what I mean? I do remember that first time at Tampa. It was my first Waffle House experience, my first, one of my first strip club experiences, I think. And basically my first uh, like actual skate contest in Tampa, Tampa Am. I didn't do very well. Like, I was so nervous, so scared. Like first real contest. And I uh, went really early because I was just, you know, excited and nervous. I wanted to go practice. It was like nine in the morning and the gate was open and no one was around. So I just like walked in and I went in there and Brian Scheckler was in there and he was, he was a little baby. He was a little kid. I mean, well, I was 21, I think the first time I went. I mean, he was probably nine or something. I remember Alpha Yard was there, he was killing it. That was like when he was just started killing everything. Nolly heel nose sliding down handrails, like no one was really doing that. There was a couple of years where I was around top 10 for like maybe like three years in a row. I got like 10th in an M, and then 9th in a Pro. But that was just a long time ago. <laughs> I do have a memory from Tampa that I will remember for the rest of my life. It wasn't even in the strip club, but I think she was a stripper. And it was pretty late in the night in one of the bars, like whatever, the castle or one of those, you know. And this girl says, oh, let me show you a trick. And she, <laughs> I'm sitting on the stool and she did a somersault into my lap, like her head into my lap and then her feet, like I think what she wanted to do was wrap her feet around my shoulders or something but her eye heel went right into my eye. And I was like, ah, and I flew back and she fell up, like upside down off the stool. Like uh, she fell on the ground. I'm like, ah, I gotta go to the bathroom. The guy's like, last call. And I'm like, I need to use the bathroom. And there's like blood all uh, down my eye. And now I have a, a perfect little square high heel scar on my eyeball for the rest of my life. Could have lost the eye. <laughs> Tampa's kind of like, people like showcase their new stuff there. I remember the first time I saw Habitat logo was at Tampa, Jake Rupp was wearing a Habitat shirt, skating around, and I thought that was really cool. <laughs> Being a spectator, like a live spectator at Tampa Finals is just amazing. I mean, the place is packed, you know, it's like the World Series for skateboarding, kind of, you know, like if you go to, like people like going to baseball games and they feel the energy of the crowd. I don't really like going to baseball games, but I love sitting on the roll and watching the finals. You know, I've watched the whole finals the last maybe three or four years because I never make it in. It's because I want to watch. Like everyone's hanging out, skating, having a good time, and then there's like kind of a contest in the middle. I mean, it's my, it's the only contest I actually make an effort to go to. I mean, they're skaters and, you know, they built the park and they've kind of evolved with skating too. So they, you know, it's not like someone coming in going, oh, you know, let's make skateboarding into a competitive thing. And, you know, like, 
heel flips now are always worth three points. You know, it's not, it's like they, it's just real skating and, you know, we're every, even there, we're all friends, even with the people putting on the contest. So, 20 years, they've been doing the contest as long as I've been skating. Happy anniversary to the spot, because it is the spot. Thanks for uh, having me, and I will see you guys in March every year for the rest of my life.